My grandfather had one of these babies. It's called a push mower. He used to cut the grass every Saturday. He'd usually wait till the afternoon when his head had stopped pounding, his vision had cleared up a little bit. <laughs> you know, men can be very competitive about their lawns. And I'm sure you wouldn't mind having the nicest lawn on the street, but if you're a handyman like me, you don't want to push more. You want to push less. <laughs> so to do that, you're gonna need a few things. First of all, three or four of these units, because more is not less. More is definitely more. And along with that, you need a couple of salt shakers, a toy gun, some liquid fertilizer, some grass seed, some wildflower seed, a little bit of weed killer, and of course, a few hockey sticks. <laughs> and naturally, you're gonna need a K-car, which these days are pretty much restricted to yard work anyway. <laughs> Okay, that takes care of the grass cutting, but we haven't begun to scratch the surface in terms of what we can do to this lawn. You know what's real good? Aerating. Oh, yeah. Of course, the secret here is not to let the screw go too far into the... <laughs> See, I, I got distracted there, but it's, it's okay because uh, I always have a can of this tire sealant right nearby. Perfect. <laughs> I made a few other alterations that I feel awful good about. Filled the trunk with grass seed. That'll just drop naturally through the trunk floor through what I call the miracle of rust. Well, here's a nice touch. You know, everybody likes wildflowers kind of spread randomly through the yard. So I filled these salt shakers with wildflower seeds. Safest way I know to sow your wild oats. Here's a fun thing now. I filled the windshield washer reservoir with weed killer. Then I ran the hose up through with this toy gun, see? So now when I'm driving along, cutting the lawn, and I see a weed like that dandelion over there, I just aim the gun, line her up with my radio antenna control, and then hit the windshield washer button. The only tricky part was trying to figure out how to spread the fertilizer. Something I don't usually have a problem with. And then I'm thinking, hey, wait a sec. You know, they make gasoline so good now that you can afford to dilute it a little bit. So I figure, heck, you know, I'll just fire this right in here. Let the engine do the work. I even added a nozzle to my tailpipe to kind of give me a little more coverage. The fertilizer won't burn, and the gas just becomes a propellant. Kind of like what kidney beans do for chili. <laughs> so remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. All the while listening to my favorite song, The Green Green Grass at Home. Everybody, um, I've been doing this tour. I did it last year called I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe, and it's almost over. I'm going to do maybe seven or eight more dates. They're all going to be in America, some on the East Coast, some Midwest, and so on. They're not all together arranged yet, but some of them are. Like, I've got four of them are on sale now. I think one's in uh, Shipshawana, Indiana, one's in Des Moines, Iowa, one's in Frederick, Maryland, and the other one's in Virgins. Vermont. And like I say, it'll be three or four more coming. Go to redgreen.com and check the details. This will be the end of this tour. If you haven't seen it, um, it's, it's pretty good. I've, I've been to almost all the shows, and they're, and, they're, and they're pretty good. So hopefully I'll see you down the road. Take it easy.